pounds to be spent on uh, flooding by 2015 and up to 400 million pounds by 2021 and he says according to that that we will be able to protect an extra 300,000 homes and that they're spending more money than ever before but other voices uh, in the in the picture a former chief government scientist Sir David King says we need to double that to about a billion pounds by 2020 to be able to cope with some of the changes in the weather that we're seeing that could be related to climate change and are there specific examples of where had a bit more money been spent on flood defences a village or a town or whatever it is or buildings might have been spared uh, the committee members don't point to any specific examples. They do point and raise a lot of concern about the Environment Agency. This is the body that's funded by the Department of the Environment, where 1,700 jobs are going over the next 12 months, 550 of them in flood defence work. And they are concerned that that will have a knock-on effect this time next year if we have similar patterns of weather that we're seeing at the moment. Uh, but just a quick thought about that, similar patterns of weather. People aren't saying, are they, it's all because of climate change. They are pointing to these strange things happening in the upper atmosphere. Yes, uh, uh, people are uh, being very careful not to go to the climate change argument very quickly. I think the, the argument that people are saying is that these are strange patterns going on. They maybe have some effect uh, in the longer term uh, uh, in terms of storm return periods uh, by uh, be, may be affected by climate change, but nobody's pointing to this and saying it's because of climate change. Matt, thanks a lot. 30 minutes past six.